646 on this Tuesday morning. We have partly cloudy skies out there for this morning. Here's the view up on the 26th floor, or basically the roof of LaBerge Casino Resort, looking down on the lake area there in uh, Lake Charles for this morning. Our roofing 911 Live Sky Cam Network uh, showing just a few clouds off there into the distance. Temperatures in the 70s this morning from 74 in Silsby and Kirbyville to 73 in Jasper. Beaumont's at 76, Port Arthur's at 78 and 79 right now as you jump over towards Orange. Not much going on here in Southeast Texas. We've had a couple isolated showers show up along the coast, but that's been about it. Most of the activity's actually been over into Cameron Parish and a couple of those showers trying to work their way up towards Lake Charles. We'll be watching along the coast for this morning, so maybe a couple isolated showers, then inland for this afternoon, as we'll see about a 30% coverage of some scattered showers and thunderstorms. Most of the activity on radar is either out in the Gulf of Mexico, where you see some scattered showers there, or well to our north through Oklahoma, Arkansas, Missouri, back into the Texas Panhandle, where our front has been sparking off some showers and thunderstorms for uh, this morning. As we look at future cast, trying to show a nice few isolated showers, like I said, along the coast throughout the morning. Even by lunchtime, it doesn't really show much rain going north of I-10. But during the afternoon, we get up into the lower 90s. We're expecting to see, like I said, some hit and miss showers and thunderstorms throughout the area for today. Some heavy downpours, maybe a few claps of thunder, some lightning here and there. And then as we get into the evening, they should die down overnight. Looks pretty quiet, except for maybe something along the coast. And we'll see temperatures back into the 70s. So tomorrow morning, I'm, right now it looks like uh, you should be able to get off to school okay. I don't think we're going to see too much in the way of rain tomorrow morning, except for maybe a few isolated showers along the coast. Now, will they drift up towards maybe mid-county? That is possible tomorrow morning. Uh, we'll have to wait and see. But right now we're, we're thinking it's going to be a pretty dry start on Wednesday. But the end of the day on Wednesday with those high rain chances are going to be fairly wet. So... Uh, we'll get out the door early, dry, but maybe the afternoon could be wet on the way home from school. 40% chance of some development here. Uh, looks like this just updated. It went from orange to yellow, so I'll have to check it out, but probably back down to about 20 to 30% chance of some development over the next five days. So that's some good news here on this disturbance that comes off the coast of Africa. But the Weather Service updates this graphic here. I update what's going on over here. So. Uh, it's gone from orange to yellow. That means basically that chances are going down that they could see some development there. So that's some good news. Hit and miss rain and thunderstorms possible for today with temperatures in the 90s if you're not getting the rain. And then tonight back down into the 70s with partly cloudy skies. Going into tomorrow, like I said, high rain chances. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday each day we'll see a good coverage of rain. And that's mainly during the afternoon hours. The mornings hopefully we won't see too much. And then over the weekend, still some scattered rain. Saturday, Looks a little wet Sunday, probably a little bit better chance of getting outside on Sunday and then Monday rain chances down to 20%. Alrighty, so we're hopeful for tomorrow morning. We're going to be live and all of the schools going back to school. So we're hoping we're going to have a, a dry start to the day at least, but. Yeah, the, the afternoon looks fairly strong. wet. Hopefully the morning will be dry. Like I said, the only problem could be maybe some of those coastal showers trying to go north yeah. and kind of run some plans there, but we'll have to wait and see how it sets up tomorrow morning. Okay. Thanks, Jeff. You bet. All right.